time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live. Let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to the first power hour of July. S&P up five and a half, NASDAQ up 75, Russell down 16, Dow up 11. Gold and silver barely green, notes and bonds are red, 10-year yield up 3.3%. Oil up uh, almost two and a half, natural gas down four and a half. Grains are green, wheat's up 2.75%. Euro and the pound pretty flat, Bitcoin up over 6%. VIX, slightly red for the day, sitting at 12.42. Uh, I got smoked out of my morning trades on that flush, being my 1-to-1, one -one, my 3-2 morning, my 1-to-1 one -one reentry, my 1-DTE. And then from there, I've just been focused on some different uh, price actions slash transformer trades, which I'll show you here in a minute. But uh, Chad, how's your day? Uh, going good. Let's see. I've uh, booked uh, my my twenty five percent, then forty percent out on my one DTE. I've I've had AM one and two, twenty forty sixty and out for both those in a power hour trade that I just posted uh, a little bit ago, and it's already booked twenty percent. So doing good. No full stops. Nope, I had a I had the one DTE. I had the um the eight dollar uh stop instead of six, so it never got stopped. And I and I hadn't I hadn't placed any AM TLC trades till after that flush. Nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, my morning ones are they're they've been getting a little smoked lately. Just not uh not getting the good price action out of the gate on days when VIX has the overnight expansion, especially Mondays. Mondays have not been good. We did have a 9 a.m. 30 minutes after the bell today, we had ISM manufacturing PMI and ISM manufacturing prices, which uh, was pretty close to where we started moving down. Yeah. So I don't know if that had something to do with it or not. Uh, tomorrow, we've got Mr. J. Powell speaking right at the opening bell. Jolts 30 minutes later. Wednesday, we've got pre-market uh, unemployment numbers, ADP non-farm uh, employment change, and then the market closes at noon central, 1 p.m. Eastern. And um, an hour later, after the market closes, the FOMC minutes come out. Of course, 4th of July closed. Friday, some more employment data pre-market. I had a, just uh, put on a Wooga and a Quad 40. Yeah, I'm in a so I'm in a Wooga in my um, challenge account. You know, it's under 25K. So I had another interesting... Um, uh, conversation with uh, support and toss. And this time I actually, well, I started out by doing the chat. So I think I've said it on here before, but the counter, the counter has been off on, you know, you can post, you can post three, you can do three day trades in a five day period. Yep. Well, ever, ever since the transition in May, it's the counter hasn't worked. And so every week I've got to chat in and prove that I haven't get done three and they got to they got to fix it. Well, I, I did it again today, and the guy was like, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll remove that flag, but then, you know, I'll make it a cash account and you can't trade spreads. I'm like, no, 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 no. You don't understand. Like, you, you need to remove it. And I still have a trade that I can use today. And so about 10 minutes went by and then he just said, well, I'm going to send this to the margin team. And then he just closed the chat on his own. <laughs> so I'm sitting there thinking, I'm sitting there losing out on the opportunity to be able to place a trade because of this stuff that's their counter being not, not working. And um, so anyway, long story short, I ended up just calling the, the number that popped up when it said it said that I didn't have any trades left. And I talked to somebody on the phone and they're like, yeah, I don't have, I don't have you as being a, a pattern day trader. Um, so when I open my account, it tells me I am, but on their end, it says I'm not right. So it's about a 30 minute fiasco, but Anyway, I, I I got a Wooga in on that account because that's what I was wanting to do is put a Wooga in and I want to get it this all taken care of before then. Are you on the 7075? Uh, let me look. I'm on the 7075. I got filled at 460. Yep, I got filled at 450. I mean, this, uh, what a tight range we've been in for the last, well, it's about 11 a.m. this morning. About a six point range. A little pre holiday price action. So, Not on the uh, Transformer side, I did a, quite a few things. I've been posting in the chat all day, but uh, I did a price action iron condor. After the flush, we started to chop and then I, so I closed half of that at 20% and then the remaining piece, I just took the risk off and put on a downside vertical. Uh, unless we get a big move down, that'll just hit minimum profit there. I, um, my two DTE, I had a little bit of profit on that one and I went ahead and transformed that into this. So the price is about right here. So this will expire Wednesday. But if we get below 54.50 or above 55.05, essentially are the kind of the max profit buckets on that. And then I did another price action trade, took half off at 20%. And I meant to do this the uh the long calls had no bid so those just pay attention to this so i was trying to do this to essentially get an upside condor and i accidentally didn't change my strike so i essentially got this which is basically just a uh risk free call we would have to explode above all time highs for that to pay out but that is what it is and then an ndx i put this on Friday after the bell. I didn't post it because it's an NDX and the liquidity is just not awesome. Uh, but I put that on before the bell Friday and then I transformed it this morning into a risk-free fly and condor, which are way down below. So most likely won't hit, but no risk. And then I put on another condor, unbalanced condor today and transformed it into another condor and uh, risk-free fly which do have some potential if price moves down a little bit or up a little bit and then i've got another one on an ndx oops that is that i have not been able to transform yet i got a little bit bullish we had that little pop up. We pulled back a little bit, and I I put this on, and we have not we have not bounced. So I'm either going to cut it, or if it bounces, I'll be able to transform it. So that's that's kind of uh, I haven't I haven't recorded my July plan, but that's what I'm going to be doing a lot of is focusing on some of these transformer things with with price action iron condors, and I'll essentially close half at 20% and then I'll transform the risk, the rest to remove the risk and give myself a shot at 
some uh, bigger profit potentials. Oh, and then the uh, my other one in SPX that I posted that I have not been able to do anything with is this one here. I, I just, actually I'm sharing a strike there. Essentially it's a, uh, if it comes down a little bit, I should be able to get filled. It's just a downside condor that I kind of targeted down below here. If it comes down about seven points, it should fill to remove the risk, but it's just a downside condor. It looks like this here. So you can see right now it's at about break even. It comes down a little bit, I'll be able to remove that risk. And that has been my day. I haven't checked the price of At The Money Flies with this narrow price action, let's see. 65 butterflies trading for about it's like a dollar 10 15 dollar 20 maybe bucko Quad 40 is up about 5%. Oh, my rut hedge is doing good. It's profitable. Rut's been weak all day, busted out of its range. On some uh, non-zero DTE stuff, I've got my uh, short premium in gold. That is, after adjustments, it's right at pretty close to break even. If we get a little bit of a bounce, we'll be in good shape on that one. Oil is strong today, kind of moving, moving back up out of center. Got a couple of ES hedgehogs. They're doing good. MES, which is a little right of center. Oh, I, I jumped in a uh, broken wing fly in Chewy. Looks like Roaring Kitty took about a 6% position in Chewy. <laughs> so I'm on the meme train, baby. Had a little spike and then, and then kind of dropped, but let's see if it wants to make a push. Just a few hundred dollars of risk for some nice upside if it spikes. Oh, and then UVXY, my uh, volatility contraction play here. I had uh, I had a five lot. I took three of those off, over fifty percent of max. Letting the last couple run, in case we get some more IV contraction going into the holiday. I need a little bounce in NDX. Otherwise, I'm going to cut it.
Yeah, uh, Quante- Quanteo. Um, you know, I used to go for eighty percent quite a bit. Um, last couple weeks, I'd say I've been doing sixteen out. Um, there's there's times where I would have have a contract left and. I would end up getting stopped out above above the 60% target. And so after several times of just, you know, getting stopped out at above the 60% target, I the last couple of weeks I just kind of gotten in the habit of closing everything at 60%. So a lot of times it depends on how wide my short strikes are, where price is at, all those types of things, but Lately, I've just been doing, I just got filled on 40% of my power hour. But lately, I've been doing 16 out. All right, here's a little bounce. So if I can get a little bit more of a bounce in NDX, I'm going to try to get filled at 880 on this, which would turn that into... Uh, Another risk-free condor and fly. Nice, 45%. Unfortunately, I got smoked out of mine because I was still using the uh, $6 stop. One thing you can do, uh, Quanteo, is if you do like 10 contracts, you could get out of half at five. And then instead of closing three and two at 40 and 60, you can go two and three, close two at 40, close three at 60. I want to capture a little bit more. Wooga needs a little down move. Wuga needs a down move? Wuga's dead center or right on. Aren't you on the 70 75s? Um, I'm on the 65 70. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, 65 70. I got four wins in a row, Meech. <laughs> I got in at one forty or er, one forty eight central is when I opened it.
hour. My power hour trades sit in dead center. SPX came right down to uh, yes, uh, Friday's close and then bounced for about 15 minutes. I thought I was uh, thought I was going to be good on my morning stuff. And then boom, a little flushy flush smoked me out. Yeah, so that's it's kind of where I, I wait from the, the two pushes. That's why I hadn't entered yet. Let's see, I got into Wooga at four. Oh, I said, oh, yeah, 455 and 460 is what I got filled in. So I need to set my profit target. Yeah. What time did you get your fill? Uh, 45. Okay. I got in at 48 seconds. Yeah. I got in three minutes later. <laughs> I'm I'm a I'm not a I'm not a cat guy. I'll just say that, Dick K. I mean, what what has Chewy done today? It really hasn't done much, has it? No, not well. It it, it spiked at the open, and then it's been kind of falling. It had the uh, the real spike was. On the 27th, a few days ago. I guess the, uh, I guess the, just that was made public or he posted that he bought like, I don't know how many millions of shares and, and it ended up being like over 6% worth of the company. Uh, I'm going to post, I'll post after the bell here, Meech. I meant to do that earlier today, but I just got stuck in other stuff. But um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, a couple things. One, I'm going to add the two DTE to the plan. Um, I'm probably going to change my one DTE to the $8 stop, give that thing a little bit more room. Um. I am going to, I think I'm going to remove my O2 call calendar, remove my quad 40, and then I'm going to focus a lot more on just price action stuff and uh, closing some, booking some profits, and then transforming the rest. It's kind of the high level overview. Just got filled on my NDX. Got another risk free condor and fly. Oh, cool. Thanks, Meech. I'll check that out. Yeah, that's part of that's part of the reason for my delay too. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my challenge portfolio. The challenge challenge may be over. <laughs> the challenge, challenge portfolio got challenged.
like today, for example, I, I got into my one-to-one re-entry, got smoked out and it just with the price action, I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to shut this down. I don't really feel like battling it with, with additional re-entries. Of course, in hindsight, probably would have done really well with the uh, price action here. So I just, I feel myself wanting to over manage it. And I, I know when I get to that point, it's, it's just time to do something because I, that's not the idea of it to be able to, you know, turn it on and off whenever I feel like it kind of thing. And so, um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make that decision here shortly, but that's, that's part of the reason I had a little bit of a delay getting my July plan out. Cause I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with that yet. So for NDX, I need either 750 or 830. Yeah, so I'll probably just consider those as one. My idea was I was just going to kind of consider those as one position and allocate appropriately because they are so correlated. Although like today, and this has happened several times, where my uh, one DTE got stopped and my two DTE stayed alive. But I think they'll probably be even more correlated if I move that one DTE stop from six to eight. But I, I do, I really like the, uh, transforming these one and two day iron condors because you know if you if you transform a zero dte and you get an upper condor like this and you get a lower condor price really has to make a pretty decent move in one direction for either of those to hit like friday it hit but we had that big down move right um but with one or two days left you can lock this in remove the risk and then you've got a lot more time for it to make a move either up or down. So I really, I really like those a lot. So the idea is going to be to take some off the table when I hit my profit target and then transform the risk to try to try to hit more. Yeah, exactly. White Tiger. You know, and on those, you know, there's no stops, there's no, you know, slippage issues, all that stuff too, which is nice being that Schwab can't get their shit together. I had some pretty decent slippage today. In fact, I had like $3 of slippage on my 3-2, I think. I need about 45 cents to hit 60 and out on my power hour trade. Okay, so it looks like yours is 
somewhat similar to Meech's where you've got higher, higher delta, tighter wings. Yeah, I'll look into that. We get a little down move. I still have a shot at cleaning up this risk. It's only 135 bucks, but that is my last transformer that I have not been able to clean up. Put that on early today. Races between strikes, but the uh, 65 fly trading for about a buck 15 sell. So. Seventy butterfly closer to a dollar forty. One forty is up about eight percent. Quad 40 would give me enough to transform here, yeah. My Wooga needs a bounce. Yours is probably sitting pretty. Sitting dead center. On the 65, 70s. Sitting dead center. Today might be the day you just take one for the team on your Wooga. 
I mean, there's no reason we can't both win. All it's got to do is a little ping pong about five points back and forth. That is true. Don't be selfish, Chad. Yeah, I've, I've taken many for the team. <laughs> Getting a little red coming in. Might just get filled on this uh, little downside transformer. Another 10 cents. Another little tick down. One more little ticky tick. Just a little tick tack. There it is. I got to risk free fly at 54.50. I mean, I have a lot of profit peaks around. If I don't hit one of them, it's going to be a shame. And power hour got stopped. After 40%. All right, now my Wooga really needs a bounce. Yeah, the old premium really got... I'll pump back in. Yeah. Got a little over 30 minutes to go. There's a little a little tail, a little bounce.
Let's see. In uh, individual stock land, big movers, Riot blockchain up almost 10%. Tesla up six and a half. Coinbase up six. Snowflake up five. Roku's up three. Boeing's up two and a half. Apple up almost two and a half. Amazon up almost two. I didn't realize Amazon hit a new all-time high on uh, Thursday of last week. Almost 200. JP Morgan, new all-time high today. Microsoft almost back up to all-time high from Thursday. NVIDIA was weak early, but it's turned green. Piton heading back down towards all-time lows. Poor Piton. Poor Piton. Oh, what a what a run it had during the pandemic. Yep. And what a crash it's had since. We'll get back to even. Grab myself something to drink. I got in a power hour too, just as that price was coming down now it's bouncing a little bit it's not what i wanted but i don't think i'm going to do a power hour number three even though i'm off centered already i'm just i mean it would be it would have to be the 70 straddle do just, it. I just, man, I mean, I'm, I was looking at close to a five figure day. If I wouldn't, if I wouldn't have even put this trade on. So I may just. Yeah, my, my woo is back to dead center. You know, it's kind of like it's two. It's twenty five minutes left. Um, do I want to? Do I want to put on a straddle that I would probably be in ten to twenty minutes? I, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at it. Take a look. See what the analysis says here. Get in for almost six bucks. Five eighty five. I'm pretty sure every time I tell you to get in something, it's a winner. At least in my mind. (laughs) 
Yeah. See if I can get Phil for 575. Wooga back in the green. Build 585. Oh, you did it. All right, let's go. Yeah, we can just bounce around here. Up and down five points, 65 to 75. Everybody's wooga should be a winner. Let's see, 70 butterfly trading for about a dollar forty, dollar fifty. Wooga's up Solid. 11 for 12 last month. Very nice. Okay, like you got the 41 delta, not the 40, 41. That's key. A little over 20 minutes to go. I'm going to go ahead and set my straddle at just a 20% and out. If it hits a 20% target, so I don't get caught in a move.
Got a little over nine minutes till the MOC number comes out. Little surprised these butterflies aren't trading for more yet with this price action. I got my my seventies and my sixty fives in there. In case we get close to two bucks. Yeah, Theta is holding tight in both my power hours. You on the uh, 6570 Wuga, are you getting close? What percentage are you at? 30. Oh, okay. I'm on the 6560s for my power hour number one. My Wuga could use a little grind up. MOC in five minutes.
matrix down to 12.23. BXX down to 10 and a half. Nothing. Hopefully that thing's going to split before long. Much better to trade when it's up in the 40s, 30s, even 20s. Well, Morrow, I guess you could consider today to be bullish. S&P's up six, first day of July. NASDAQ's up almost a half percent. Yeah, let's creep up back above 70. Seventy butterfly trading for about a dollar seventy, maybe. I'm still waiting on 20% on. Yeah, you need uh, to move up to 70. My power hour number two and three, I'm still waiting on 20%. If I can hit either one of those, I'll just close the whole position at 20%. So I don't get caught in a move. My move is trading at about 305. My profit target is at 230. MOC in one minute. Yeah, I'm actually going to get out of my quad 40. It's up 11%, up about 1,500. I'll just take that. That's my last one anyway. It's getting booted from the plan. I'll let my Wooga ride, though. Actually, I'm going to take part of my Wooga. One point two billion buy side. One point two Billy buy. Close the rest. All right. Good profit on Wooga. Good profit on my um, quad 40. 
no fill on a butterfly yet. I need to put in a 75. Seventy butterflies only trading for about a buck thirty now. Seventy five is getting closer. Stopped on my power hour, one of them. And my Wooga was minus a hundred bucks thanks to that up move. Bummer. Bummer. Need price to get to 75 or 70 and sit there for a minute to get filled on a fly. That was a tough loss there on my power hour number two. Full stop. That really crushed my profits today. I told you not to listen to me. <laughs> well, the, the straddle's still in play, actually. This was my power hour number two. I got gotcha. you. See, you're still on the 70. Yeah, I'm still on the 70 straddle. And my Wooga. Went from being up 30% to being a uh, minus $100 loser. What's that push up? Win some, you lose some. Pushing up towards 75. That butterfly is still only trading for about a buck 70. Well, no, it's getting close now. Needs to sit. Got five and a half minutes. Nice, Wuga. Still no fill on the seventy fives. SPX not quite above highs of day, but getting close. NDX is pushing through highs of day up through its expected move to the upside. I cut my straddle loose for a small loser.
put in an 80 fly. Build on the 80 fly at 210. Took a good day and made it a okay day.